to boot my Ubuntu in my Windows and when I try to install the Ubuntu the installation cannot detect the unallocated space here and the problem is actually stated here the current or TS and obtain has some limitation with Ubuntu installation. First we need to do is to disable the RTNs and alt 10. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to manage our disk partition properly. So go to Windows Search and search for this and select create and format hard disk partitions. Okay, now as you can see, I only have one disk physical disk and I have three partitions here, which the first one is reserved for recovery partition and also Windows booting system and C drive for a Windows install and you have to allocate another space for Ubuntu installation and also another at least 50 MB for the obtained memory to be re-enabled okay so now I'm gonna do it so first thing I have to do is to string volume okay so now I'm gonna reserve 200 gigs for my Ubuntu and another 60 MB for obtained memory. So here I'm gonna all right. Okay, so now we have to separate out the unallocated space so that you would have partition for Ubuntu and another partition for obtained memory so we are going to new symbol volume and enter the space for your Ubuntu first okay no I'm not gonna sign a letter and the name I just leave it blank and now this one I'm going to delete it and make it unallocated okay so now you should have one unallocated space for Ubuntu installation and one this partition just to separate them out and another one for obtain memory we enable so to disable the obtain memory you may go to this link and f follow the steps to disable so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disable Intel of the memory with Intel RST so first you may go to Intel Rapid Storage and if you don't have this desktop app installed you may go to this link and download the setup RST EXE. Since I already downloaded it and installed it, I might just uh, open it for my Windows. Okay, and then go for Intel Obtain Memory. Here you should have disable button to disable it. Now we should proceed to the Ubuntu installation. Okay, so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to storage and change my mood to AHCI mood. Yes. And then I'm going to disable my secure boot. Okay. Next, I'm going to change the boot order. So this Limpus Light Sandis it has my Ubuntu install. So press F10 and save the changes. Okay, now, now you should go for this try Ubuntu without installing. And you might follow other online tutorial on how to install the Ubuntu. Go to terminal and you may type for gpart. Gpart. 
okay and then it shall be a GUI of Gparted shown and this will list down all your available drive so you may check for the SDA and look for your unallocated space okay and then after that you might go for install Ubuntu okay so after the installation of Ubuntu complete you will put again into BIOS mode and then go to configuration and go to storage and revert back the mode to RST mode okay yes all right and then go back and change the boot order and here we are going back to windows all right all sets and we'll press f10 and exit saving changes okay so now i'm going to show you how to re-enable to obtain memory and to enable it you may go to this link and follow the instruction here first of all you may need to uh, go to device manager and then look for these drives and check whether there's uh, intel mm pack under the disk drives and this means the obtain memory driver okay so we are good to go so for the next step so now you should go to this partition and you will be prompted with this one and check for the gpt which is the correct format for obtain memory and okay so for the 7 and 45 gigs will be your swap area and another 190 gigs will be your base for ubuntu and then the last partition will be used to re-enable the obtain memory okay now to disable the obtain memory first you should go to intel rapid storage technology and go for the intel obtain memory tab and just click enable and check for the drive and yes okay and then after that you should just reboot and the optimum memory should be enabled after the reboot so that's all and now your ubuntu should have installed and able to access and also your windows should work just like usual with the optimum memory enabled okay that's all for today thanks for watching